Hi there, my name is Deval Bhatt and I'm the partner here at Product Manager HQ. Today I would like to share with you my thoughts on Stanford University's product management programs. As you know, product management has truly become one of the most in-demand skills in business today. To help capitalize on this, people are rushing to get their hands on training material that can prepare them to take on the world as product managers. Stanford is one of those institutions that offers training to prospective product managers. Yet, the question remains, is it really worth it? I'll be answering this question and more throughout this video. But first things first, remember to subscribe to this channel and get direct notifications whenever we post new video up on product management. As you know, product management is a rapidly developing field. Product managers constantly need to up their game in order to offer fresh innovative solutions to the target market. For that reason, lots of courses have come out that try to bridge the knowledge gap in product management so that professionals like you have an easier time in your career. Stanford University is one of those that have come out on board with product management training. They offer two main courses, one called Product Management, Transforming Opportunities into Great Products, and another called Product Management Fundamentals for Real Economy. Both of their courses aim to help product professionals figure out possible product problems and come up with strategies to solve them. Stanford aims with their courses to create smart, agile, and dynamic product managers that can adapt to the needs of their respective products. Let's kick off this review by taking a look at the first Stanford course I mentioned called the Product Management Transformation Opportunities into Great Products. It's a two month intensive course put together by Stanford University Online that has a total of about four hours of video content a further four hours of activities and exercises, and around 60 assigned readings. It's put on by University School of Engineering and costs about $700. Once you pay, you get access to the course material for the maximum of 60 days. Speaking of material, this course is structured in a way that it covers nine modules. The breakdown of these modules is as follows. The first one is course introduction. Second one is where you get to understand what the problem is. The fourth one is about design. The fifth one is about launching. The sixth one is about distribution and deciding on market segments. The seventh one is about building product roadmaps. Eighth one is about building models. And finally, in the ninth module, you conclude the course. All of these modules combined together cover product lifecycle, meaning that it covers all the basics of product development. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of Stanford University's Transforming Opportunities into Great Products program. Starting with the pros, for people who have absolutely no knowledge of product management, this program can be helpful in providing crash course in the basics that people ought to know in this field. After all, it covers all the fundamentals of product lifecycle. That way students get a sense of what is expected throughout the product development phase. One of the things I've got to add about this course is that it's the material covered really does help student hone skills that can be applied to real product management projects. However, another important thing to mention is that the choices given to students for supplementary reading complements the concepts seen throughout the program. Also, because this program is 100% online, it makes it easier for people to integrate coursework into their regular schedule than it would be if this class were held in person. With respect to the cons of this program, there are a few that you should bear in mind. To start with, a lot of supplementary material found in the course to help people get a deeper understanding of product management can be found online 
without someone having to spend an extra cent. This course covers the bare minimum of product management. So while it may be a good starting point for those who are now stepping into the field, for those who already have experience as product managers or any other profession in product development, the course doesn't provide much value. Of course, this program can be serious inconvenience for those people who can't find the time to access the material within the 60 day period. Besides, even if you do, not being able to return to the material after 60 days can be quite frustrating, especially since there are certain documents, lectures, and materials that cannot be downloaded directly from the platform. Because the course is geared towards beginners in product management, and the fact that with just one quick search on Google, you'll be, built, you will be able to find most of the reading material some might feel that they are almost being ripped off. Now let's turn our attention to the second course, the second course in product management offered by Stanford called Product Management Fundamentals for the Real Economy. Unlike their other product management course, Fundamentals for the Real Economy is a graduate course which means that students can only register once a year. Once you successfully complete it, you will be awarded credits that can be applied to Stanford's Civil and Environmental Engineering graduate program. Now, since this is a graduate course, the cost is going to be higher than the previous course. With that said, this course costs almost $1,400 per unit. Usually, Stanford's graduate courses contain anywhere from three to five units which means that you're looking at anywhere between $4,000 and $7,000 for this course. On top of that, if you want lifetime access to your transcripts and materials in the course, you would need to pay an additional one-time fee of $125. So in total, if you're looking at the cost of just north of $7,000 in the case that this is a three unit course. The idea behind the course is to teach students how to apply managerial skills and how to build products that are fit for real economy. It also teaches students how to access product lifecycle framework with the help of several case studies within a team setting. Let's break down the main pros and cons of Stanford's graduate course, Fundamentals for the Real Economy. Let's kick things off with the pros. One of the best things about the course is that professors really spend a lot of time helping to shape students into team players since they understand that successful product management can never be done by one person alone. It requires the involvement of multiple teams who all coordinate with each other to create successful product. One of the great things about Stanford is that their professors are true professionals who have a lot of experience and knowledge in their respective fields. Their professors who teach the course happen to work at top companies like Apple, LinkedIn, Adobe, and more. So for one, they know what they're talking about, and two, they can open doors for promising students. Since the professors who give this course are real professionals working in top companies, the entire course is structured to give students real insights into how product management works in a real setting, especially when it comes to understanding customer needs. The other advantage is the possibility to keep the material for the life. While it does come at a cost, unlike the previous course, this course gives you lifetime access to all the academic material and transcripts. Another thing that's really neat about this course is that professors really dive into products that can be launched using cross-functional channels. This is great for students who want some real insights into innovative marketing strategies that show results. Now there are a few cons of this program. For starters, since this is a graduate course, students can access it only once a year. This means that once your enrollment period is up, you would have to wait an entire year to get the course. Apart from the limited availability for this course, it is also offered online only. 
Now, depending on what you're looking for, this can be either a pro or a con. If you're looking for a program that affords greater flexibility with your schedule, then the online program is a solid option. However, if you prefer in-person classes, then this program may not be the best option for you. It also comes down to the preferences. That said, this course is way more expensive than Stanford's PM course on transforming opportunities into great products. At best, if this course is only three units, you're looking at a difference of about $3,000. To wrap things up, Stanford's product management courses without a doubt are solid choices for students looking to learn more about the field and strengthen their careers as product managers. That said, they're not the only courses on product management and depending on what you're looking for, you may find Stanford courses may not be a best fit for what you're looking for in your career. For example, if what you want is a way to jump into the field of product management and land a job fast, then a great choice will be Product Management Bootcamp put together by Product Manager HQ. That's it ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching and soon we'll be posting some really cool and insightful videos on important product management strategies, so stay tuned. Before we end, I would like to challenge you to see how closely you've been following this video. Here's a true or a false question for you. One of Stanford's product management courses does not offer you lifetime access to its content. Answer in the comments below whether this is a true statement or a false statement. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, cheers.